guys, welcome back to my channel Study Bee. Here I am with one more video. So today we are going to continue our science subject. This is our second video on the science topic. To watch the previous video on the science uh, topic, you can click the link below. So let's start with our new topic. So our new topic is local environment. What is local environment? So local means the place where we are living continuously. As we are a human being, our local is like we are living on the earth. So this is our local environment. We live on the earth. We can see the sun at night. We can see the sky, black sky. Then when the rains comes, we can see the clouds. We can see the tree. This is our local environment. And also, as a human being, we are blessed with the skills that we can go under the water using some oxygen tank, using the materials. We can fly over the sky. We can go into the space also. This is our skills. But where we live is where we take a breath, where we are living, where we live most of the time. So we are living on the earth. What is environment? First of all, we should know how to pronounce this word. Environment. Environment. So our here, the N is silent. So we call it environment. Okay. So let's spell this word. E N V I R O N. Environment. M E N T S. So every living thing has their different local environment. As I told you, being a human being, our local environment is this place. We are living on the earth. When we see up, we can see the sky. When we see down, we can see the soil. If we move around, we can see the greenery. We can see the plants. We can see the tree. We can see the birds. That is our local environment. We can feel the air. We can see the sunshine. We can feel the cold. We can feel the hotness. That is our local environment. So let's start with this chapter. Each living thing needs a place to live and lives in a local environment. So where we are living, it is our local environment each living thing so in the last chapter we discussed about the living thing and the non-living thing so we discussed like the plants are the living things animals are the living things so every living thing needs a place to live and the place should be where they can live if for example if a human being live in a glaciers like minus six minus five I think human being cannot survive for more than two to three days because that place is not suitable for our body, not suitable for our health. We cannot breathe, we will feel very cold. So every living thing needs a suitable environment to live. That is our local environment. Now wherever you are living, for example you are living at your home. That is your local environment because if you feel cold, you will on the uh, you will on the heater. If you feel hot, you will on the aircon to minimize your temperature. That is your local environment. We need a uh, air to breathe. The oxygen need we need the uh, oxygen to breathe. Where the oxygen come from? Yes, the oxygen come from the trees. If there are no trees in the place where you live. You will suffocate. You will die in a few days. That is our local environment. So for the human being local environment, we need trees, we need sunshine, we need lots of things. So each living thing needs a place to live and lives in a local environment. Okay, we already talked about the human beings. What about the animals? So our planet has different kinds of animals we have birds we have reptiles then we have the animals living in the uh, water that are known as aquatic animals so every animal their local environment are different according to their needs for example if we talk about the whale whale is a, like one of the largest fish in the sea and it lives in the water the whale local environment is the water it's the aquatic animal for example we take out the whale from the water its local environment change already and the whale will die 
like the fish because their local environment is water. When we take them out of the water, we bring them on the soil, they cannot survive, they will die. That is the local environment. So here we go, important words from this chapter are environment, farm, pet, compare. So let's spell them, environment, E N V I R O N M E N T environment. Next word is farm. F A R M farm. Pet. P E T pet. Compare. C O M P A R E compare. So let's start again. Environment, farm, pet, compare, compare. So let's move on to the next. You here you can see in the pictures they are showing us the trees, the mountains. Then we have the sparrows over here, the nest of the sparrow, the owl. Here are some more plants, fishes. And here is the island, here is the cave here, I think it's a bat, rabbit, flowers, snake. So all we are seeing is most of is the living thing and we are seeing their living environment. Look at each animal, look at each plant, where does it live, why does it live there? So here they are saying we need to look at the each animal, each plant and tell why they do live here and where does they live. So the animal number one I see is a fish. Fish lives in the water. Why fish lives in the water? Because fish cannot live without water. Its local environment is water. Let's see the rabbit. Rabbit lives on the land in the green part. Why rabbit lives in a part on the island because rabbit eats the grass if there is no grass rabbit is going to be die so if rabbit goes into the water it's also going to die because the water is not its local environment the rabbit local environment is the grass now see at the plants the plants is usually a living near to the water where the sunshine can come why because plants can die without water and without sunshine so they need a water also they need a sunshine also and they live in a soil that's correct so why they live it there the answer is because it is their local environment they need these things to survive Animal can be found in the natural environments. Okay, what is the natural environment? So natural environments are the environments that are built from the start of the world. They are not built artificially. They are not made by the man. So animals are live in a natural environment. For example, the natural environment is the sunlight, the water, the air. That is the natural environment. Do you like someone did ask you who created the sun? No, it's natural. It's already been there since the world has been made. The water has been there since the world has been made. The air has been there in the world since the world has been made. It is not man-made. Nobody created the sun. Nobody created the air nobody created the water it's already been there when the world was created it was by our god it was by our allah so this is the natural environment they can also be found on a farm the farm is the place where the all animals are kept where they have been taken care by the men in the farm they have been provided with the local environment they have been provided with the food they have their regular routine they have a very nice place to live just like a human being human being ling, uh, lives in a houses they lives in a bangalore so like this the animals home is a farm 
or in a zoo in a zoo you know there have so many animals where you go visit and in homes as a pet in homes as a pet a pet is an animal that you can keep in a home for example so many people have a cat in a home so many people have the puppies in a home so many people have the parrots in a home why because you can provide them the local environment the things they need to survive so wherever they have the things they can survive where i have they have the local environment they have the air they have the water they have the food they have the sunlight they can survive easily so the animals can live here in a local environment the local environment can be provided in a farm in a zoo or in homes as a pet when you keep the cat as a pet you need to take care of her you need to get her clean you need to provide her with food so these are the things that we should look forward when we are going to adopt an animal as a pet because they need their local environment moving on where do the plants grow so this is an activity you should take your pen your camera your uh, clipboard to write something so this is the question they are asking where do plants grow think about where you will find the plants growing outside so now if you are sitting at home go outside and see where the plants are growing if you are at your school go and see where the plants are growing in your school go outside and look at the plants where do they grow and write down where they are growing are they growing on your wall or are they growing on your garden or are they growing on your soil so where do they are growing you write it down where do they grow where they do how they grow and where they do so you can see compare how many plants you find in different environments so like for example some plants you will see in your garden in a soil they are growing in a soil then you come into the kitchen you see that there is a pot the plant is growing in a pot then you go in your school you see there is a there is a roof and on the edge of the roof the plant is growing so this is different places and the different environment where the plant is growing so plant is growing in your garden the plant is growing in your kitchen the plant is growing in your school top roof so this is the different environment but why they are going in the different environment because it's their local environment they can found everything they need to grow they can find the food they can find the sunlight they can find the air so they are growing similarly when the for example i if i ask you to shift to the new place shift to the new city you will grow you will not stop growing because your mother is providing you food because you are growing so when the living thing have the all the things they need to survive they grow so that's their local environment Number two activity is birds come to school. Have you seen the birds coming to school? Where do you see them? Can we make the environment better for them? Okay, so when we are like studying, we see the birds coming from the window. We see they are flying. They sit on the garden. They sit on the roof. They sit wherever they want. So where? What is their local environment? The sky. the earth that is their local environment can we make the environment better for them like how we can make the environment better for them do you know where the birds live where the house of the birds are think yes the birds live in a nest and the nest is on the tree so birds live in a tree so how we can provide the better environment for them yes we can we can grow the plants so when the plants grow the plants will become the tree when the tree there will be a tree the birds can have the new home so we should avoid cutting the trees number 1 and then we should promote the to planting a 
trees so we can plant the trees then how could we make a feeding table for them so if you see uh, like when there is very hot summer there is a like a water bowl or a pot of water a water bottle in the park in someone's home hanging the water bottle filled with the water because we know it's very hot if we are the human beings also the birds are the one of the living thing so they will also feel thirsty so we should keep the water on our roof on our balcony on our gallery in a pot or in a bowl for the birds so when they are thirsty they can come and drink the water this is how you can make their environment better you can put the feeding uh, you can make the feeding table for them you can put their food on your roof edge on your uh, on your shades on your home shades on your under the tree or under the, uh, at the side of your street at the side of the footpath street to make them uh, to make them feed but for them you should take a small table a small stool put the cloth on it and put their food on it so whenever they are hungry they will come and eat this is how you can make their environment better make a drawing to show how you could help the bird so now your homework is that you need to make a bird you need to make the bird environment and you need to show them how you can help the birds so there are lots of idea what you can do for them you can make a bird you can make a table you make them out you make them a food then you can make a tree then you can make a house and on the house balcony you can put up a, a a bowl of water for them a bowl of food for them so whenever they are hungry whenever they are thirsty you can help them to have a food you can help them to have a water in the end of the video i will share some pictures so you can draw it for your homework and if you are following my videos do comment and do tell me how is your how is your homework and how do you like my video so what do you have learned today that each living things live in a local environment the local environments give them a home food and water so these th three things you can make for the birds to make their environment better